our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, recently accepted a heartfelt invitation by the Honorable Chief Phil Lane Jr., vegan, hereditary chief of the Ehang Tuan Dakota and Chickasaw Nations, to share a recorded message for a worldwide online conference called Global Convergence of Enlightening Our Way Together. The event was held from December 15th to the 22nd, 2023. In his invitation letter to Master, the Honorable Chief Phil Lane Jr. stated, The global convergence is dedicated to uniting diverse voices and perspectives to foster unity, understanding, and a shared commitment to the well-being of Mother Earth and all her children. Your spiritual insights and prayers would resonate deeply with the participants, creating a profound connection and shared purpose. Your participation in these sacred prayers will undoubtedly leave a lasting impact on all those in attendance, inspiring them to continue their efforts toward a harmonious and sustainable world. In response, Master graciously recorded the following message for the participants in the Global Convergence. Ahoy, all the great First Nations people, my love and reverence to all of you for taking care of Mother Nature, our only resource for survival on the planet, from the soil that we even walk upon. Of course, we also thank other sources of nutrition and for our precious life, such as the sun, the water, from the rain, from the rivers, from all sources of magnificent water bodies. I thank you for still remembering the roots of your First Nations, your traditions, your gratitude toward Mother Earth and all other beings that you are very much familiar with, as if they are your family, your family in the whole world. I wish you all the best by the grace of God, and I wish you all that your noble wishes will come true. I thank Chief Lane for his kind, generous invitation. I do think of all of you a lot and often think of how you fare, how God takes care of you, how Mother Nature and Mother Earth offer you all love, good advice and good necessities for your more comfortable life. No matter how the outer world changes, your traditions, your values, spiritual knowledge, and all that is precious, you have never forsaken. That is a great thing that you keep, which is far, far more valuable than any physical and material possession. And all of you, the First Nations, citizens know all that, treasure all that very well. And I am very touched and thankful for that. Please remember that God, Mother Earth, are always with you. They are always with all of us, whether or not we realize it. And we just have to keep in mind that we are never alone, never alone in this universe. God is always with us and loves us. First Nations people or not, I'm thanking you for still keeping your traditions and skills in revering Mother Earth and saving many, many occasions during your life to pay respect to her and to pay obeisance to all the nature's blessings, advice and order by the grace of God and the First Nations people know it best because you are always trying to connect with all that surrounds you in a spiritual way, in the most respectful way and with the most sincerity in your heart. As per the invitation from Chief Lane, which I am very honored to accept, I herewith just contribute a humble respect, a humble Gratitude to all of you for always remembering to be grateful for what we have from Mother Nature by the grace of God Almighty. 
And by doing your ceremony and having your gathering of gratitude and festivity, you also thereby remind the whole world how to conduct our life according to virtues, goodness, gratitude, humility, and above all, love for God. I thank you for all that you have been doing all this time ever since we existed to always keep this humility, gratitude, and love for God, for the spiritual inheritance, and for all that exists around us. May your life be always filled with this love and blessing and all that is noble, spiritual, and above all mundane level of consciousness and ambition. I can only say all my love for you, all my genuine respect for you, and all my heart connection with you. And we are all connected with the Most High whenever we are aware of such connection. The First Nations citizens, in my opinion, my observation, have a very high knowledge of this connection with God and with all that exists around us on this planet. Please keep it that way. Please keep it that way to bless yourself and to bless all around us as well. Just to remind you one more time that you are the First Nations people keep the spiritual knowledge and traditions in the best way. And by practicing it, you will enhance it more. You will enhance this knowledge in your memory and for the next generations to come. By practicing, it will make us a master of any domain, especially in the spiritual domain. At this time of our urgent situation, our planet Earth is truly in peril. So we should try to be more diligent in spiritual practice and adhere to the vegan diet in order to keep the compassion and loving kindness to all who live together with us on this precious planet Earth. May God bless you for that. Amen. I humbly thank you again and again for this invitation, which also reminds me of the most valuable thing in our life, which is spiritual connection with God. I wish you all success for this wonderful, noble gathering. And furthermore, in anything else valuable spiritually in your life and to pass it on to the next generations. May the most beloved God bless you and all your nations. May God also bestow love, blessing and forgiveness to all of us. Amen. 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 <laughs>